What's up, world? I'd like to welcome y'all to a Drug Dealer's Dreams yeah. podcast, yo. This shit is real. We got real guests. Yep. Informative. Yo, my name G. I'm Benny Blanco. You know, for those of you who lived it, can relate to it, seen it, heard it, felt it, been through it, it's for you. Yo, we gonna have real convo, real guests, real just back and forth with me and my guy, man. Sit back, enjoy the ride, man. Drug Dealer's Dreams. Word. If you tuning in for gossip, tune out. On that. Yo, what's good, man? It's a drug world. dealer's dream, man. Another episode. Definitely another episode. Definitely good to see you, bro. Word. You too, man. All right. Well, what you got on your mind, man? Let's get to it. Man, seasons change. People change. Okay. Right. We getting the fall weather. Coming to the winter always makes me miss home. You miss home in this weather, B. Just getting dressed. Atlanta is cool enough for me to to get fresh and not be freezing all at the same time. Yeah, it's like a um, but at the same time you smell it in the air. You know what I'm saying? It smells like home for a minute. It smells like up top. You get that briskness. Listen in the air. I want to talk, man. I do too, but I'm just saying I'm I'm reminiscing about home, like like. I look forward to hoodie season, Tim season, being down south. Ah, and, it, and it's and it's restricted, you know. It's not as long as it normally is. So I just I'm just this my this my time of the year down here. When I'm down here, this is my time of the year, man. It's reminiscent. It feels good, you know. Let's you layer up, it, man. I got going. shit on my mind. What you got in your mind? All right, check this out, right? What I want to talk about. I don't know. This for this kind of for the fellas, but for the ladies too. Mm-hmm. Yo, it ain't even about street niggas, so I don't even want to limit it to that. But I could, I could go with that because that's kind of the way I am at the end of the day. Yo, if you got a girl, B, if you got a... Nah, real shit. Nah, if you go got ahead, a girl, go you got a wife, you got somebody you're dealing with, uh-huh. like a chick got to respect. Just because you come in the crib and you make shit seem like it's all good, that don't mean it's all good. Don't. I'm just not trying to give you that stress of what's going on the outside. You could have a job. It don't matter. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. But when you're in the street, you think money easy or, or however you get your bread, like you're still dealing with multiple personalities. Whether you go to work or be in the street or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to stop stressing a nigga sometime. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. like you really got to be on some... Yo, I don't know what you're going on out there, but I know whatever you're doing is putting food on this table. So let me sit back and chill. You know what I'm saying? Let me think about what the shit what, that you're going through. To, the shit you know, I'm to going through. You know what I'm saying? Not just me. I'm just saying just people in life. You could be going to work, work at Home Depot every day. At the end of the day, right. you're dealing 100%. with multiple personalities. And as 100%. a man, the illest part about life is if you're a good nigga. I ain't even talking about these sorry motherfuckers already. Right. I'm talking about if you putting food on the table... If your girl is in a jam, you can take care of it. Right. Like like if a the man, car's broke, yeah, a man has to have it. a reserve. A woman right. might not have to have a reserve because she no. could pick up the phone and call ten niggas if she want to. Right, a nigga really can't. So I think the illest part is that that I want to get get through to a lot of chicks is if you got a dude that's really holding it down. I ain't. We not even gonna get into him messing with other chicks. I'm talking about basic fundamental shit. The you foundation, know what I'm saying? the foundation of the a foundation. home. Like like of a at, home, yes. Like so. you know, everything built on a weak foundation crumbles, right? So, just to build with a woman, right? right. You got to understand your roles, right? And of course, in the day and age we live in, roles get skewed because you got all, a bunch of weird shit going on. So, every woman wants to be independent. Every man wants to be whatever the fuck. So. I don't even know what's going on with men at this point. But it's like a woman wants to maintain her role. I mean, a woman wants you to maintain your role as the provider, but they want to have no role. They want to be free, right? Definitely want to so be free. So the only way you could do, only thing you could do is lead by example and exemplify your role. So you have to overlive your role as a man now. I'm with you. You have to overprovide. You have to overlead. Right. You have to overstructure. You have to over these things in sort of, in order to set some type of foundation to your household. Because the woman, they have luxurious problems. They have problems like I want to find myself. I don't know yeah. what my passion is. 
want to get my eyebrows. I threaded. just don't feel like me today. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know, the illest part about it is just, it's like, you can't really be tripping if the bills is paid or whatever. And I'm not saying y'all don't have a problem, women. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking to y'all. Is that, God damn, shut the fuck up sometime. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you got to really be like, you know what? My 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 radiator got fixed last week, and he did it. And let yeah. me think about that before I be like, damn, you were supposed to be home at such and such time. Yo, you don't know what the fuck is going on. You know what I'm saying? You don't know whatever. If you're in the street and a motherfucker say, yo, I'll meet you in an hour, and it be five hours. You right. know how motherfuckers right. don't, it right. don't be the time. Yeah, you it think don't, I'm on it don't help if your chick is blowing you up through that entire situation. Right. Facts. Dealing with too much stress. And I'm watching. You. I'm I'm worrying about if the police is fucking behind right. me and your fucking phone is ringing right. a thousand right. goddamn times. Right, right. You know, um, it's, it's it's one of my favorite sayings, man. I know we live in a world full of memes and all that. I hate, I hate all that shit. I'm just be honest. But like, still waters run deep. Like, if you got a dude who pays the bills and he comes home, he wants to be quiet for a minute. Let him be quiet, man, because he's processing situations. You know what I mean? And it's like, it's just what I said. Still waters run deep, man. When you quiet, what uh, it remind me of two songs, um, Prodigy and Nas, Self Conscious. You remember that record? God damn you, you you going in the library? Let me let me. What what, what song are you talking QB's about? QB's finest album. You out of control. Nah, well, let I'm me just, tell you why I'm you out of that, control. Because air. nobody goes into album tracks on a QB finest compilation, bro. You're out of control. They gotta, they gotta, they gotta speed up. If they Give me some follow. bars, then. Give right. me some bars. Um, he so said something. Sense. The stress verse seemed to be what they most thirst. He was just talking about how you out of control. The shit I just he don't. No, nah, let me tell you. All right, go the on. shit he don't want to talk about. His conscience is telling him not to talk about because that's what they relate to and that's what separates you. That's what they scared to say. You know what I'm saying? So, also, on the side of being a man and playing your position. If you have a real one, right? Mm -hmm. If you have a real female in your life, I'm with you. And you build in a home, mm -hmm. and you going through some shit. You tired of a mouth? Tell her. Mm -hmm. Tell her sometimes, bro. I'm with you. Because it might work. If it don't work, they don't want to hear that. At least you shit. know you got the wrong one. No, but they don't want to have the wrong one. None of them want to hear that shit. You think the, zero? The, it's 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 not your woman or my woman. It's all of them. It's right, like ninety two percent. I got a different joint for you. Beans. You gotta get a white girl. <laughs> I'm be honest. Like the only way you don't hear no bullshit is if you get a white girl. Yeah, B. but you can't say that because you've never been in a relationship with a white. Chick, You're right, bro. but I just, I just my, that's my vision. That's your, you know that's what I'm saying? It's like, it's, it's, you that, listen, that's why when dudes make it to the league, mm -hmm. they get a white girl. Niggas don't mm -hmm. want to hear that bullshit, bro. They're just like, hey, I made the pie today, and I want to suck your dick. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God. Like, that's how you got to roll. That's you a know relationship saying? with a white yes, woman. Yes, yes. White girl is just head as soon as you walk in the door <laughs> and cooking. You know what I'm saying? Might not be the best cooking, but this shit is going to be all right. I got to apologize what I'm to my mother after this episode. Oh, dude. shit. April. I got to tell April. Yeah, I hope April yes. didn't do it. Parental advice. Her cooking was terrible. Damn, but she yo, should make me bagels. Yeah. That's but a, go ahead. Yeah. Yo, but... This the thing, right? So, if you're building, man, you know, communication's real, right? Communication's real. They just got, yo, I got this, I got this situation, right? As I get older, I feel, I truly feel like I figured out some real matrix shit, right? Okay. I feel like when we're young, it's like, all right, you got the three things, right? You got knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, right? right. And we used to hear that shit. See, that was the right. difference in music back in our days. It made us try to figure things out. We Five know, percenters was yeah, on deck, we, though. but we didn't know what the fuck they was talking about, right? And they'll right. say some shit, and then you try to figure it out, right? So right. when you're young, you start knowing a bunch of shit. So it's like, okay, I got a bunch of knowledge. Like, I learned shit. I'm not a dummy. I'm soaking things in. I'm a sponge. Like, I learn it, right? Mm -hmm. You think you know everything. You showing older people no respect. You think you got the game figured out, Fact. right? Then you graduate to wisdom, probably in your twenties, right? Would Where you can look back at yourself and be like, okay, you 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 decipher what you thought you knew to what you really know, all right? So then you have your your little bank, your little reserve of knowledge. It turns to wisdom because you're a little older, right? 
But when you're really in your 30s and you like you got real perspective, that's when you gain understanding, right? I think that's what women lack. They lack that final stage. They don't understand how shit works. They might know a bunch of shit. They might be super smart and all that, but they don't understand the intricacies of how things work. You know what it is? Is is I think that um, women are emotional when it comes to sex, and that shit clouds their judgment. Like, like, really, like, like, for real, a dude can, a dude can actually. It's kind of off the subject, but it's on the subject. A dude can actually have sex with a girl and have no feeling, have no emotion. Right. She can have the fattest ass. She can be the baddest joint. And the next day, he could give a fuck if he sees her again or whatever. I think that's the difference. Like, women base love on sex also. Like, once I... A good woman. I ain't talking about a, a thought. I'm talking about right. a joint. She'd be like, damn, like, I gave myself to him. We're together. I ain't letting him be on no bullshit, right? So, in turn, like, that makes her go crazy when you come home, like, damn, he might be out messing with an extra when, yo, I'm out trying to put food on the table, but you thinking it's about a bitch. I don't really give a fuck about the bitches. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 it's not like a nigga can't or, or whatever, but it's just like, I think they're, they base it on you fucking with a bitch that you've been out eight hours straight. And you came home with two hundred dollars, but you don't want to understand what I had to do for this two hundred dollars. Right. You know what I'm saying? The next night it could be two thousand or twenty thousand, right. but it's the same time that has it's to get put in for the same right. thing. And I'm dealing with this motherfucker who said he was gonna meet me, right. and he didn't ever come, right. or he came and and didn't have a quarter, but wanted it for free. And talking about he'll come back tomorrow when that wasn't what we spoke All right, about. So let's you take it back, right? Let's take it back. Rewind, right? You're 15, 16, 17, whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Um, before extreme cell phone use, right? Mm-hmm. There was this law that used to exist. Like, you start talking to a chick and she'll blow your page up or your two way, right? I'm taking all the way back to the pager, right? You old as shit. We're Super old, facts. but this is what I listen. Just letting the know. people know you're old. This is real. Okay. This is I was, yo, bro. You gotta, you gotta be old to survive. I'm with you. You know what I'm saying? I love, I love to be able to talk about it. And this is how it all started. Like you don't know where you're going until you know where you're from. So we've shout out to Brandy, right? Okay. Who explained on a previous episode the lore that women had to street life, right? Uh, hustlers and all that shit you wanna you wanna touch on it or no but I'm just saying like when you met a female when we was young in our generation Mm -hmm. you know there was a lure to you just riding around all day getting money like that shit was exciting to them they would call you from the crib and be like what you doing and just the fact that you was out and about moving they wanted to ride with you and they hold a hammer they'll do everything all right. You know, because they wanted a piece for whatever reason. I'm not a woman. I don't know what, what what enticed them, but, you know, that was exciting to them. Instead of sitting in their mom's, you know, and all the bad bitches had their own line, right? Remember bitches who had their own line? Damn you old. Yes, they had their own phone line. They had their own line. They definitely did. Okay. So you could call without the worry of their mother or father answering. Right. Right, because they had their own line. And that's when you knew a bitch was lit. Like she was different. You you stepped it up a level. So and so got their own line. So you call her. But yo, if you if she was good enough to ride, I mean, yo, but real shit. That's where the whole culture came from. That's where that's where Eve's ride or die, bitch. That's where Trina. That's where Lil Kim. That's where all that comes from. Nah, it's just a, a a a young woman willing to ride around with you while you do what you do. And the only reward you giving her is you giving her insight into what the fuck you be doing all day. Right, but see, you know that the, the you talking right, right? But I think what what the transition is is during that time. Look how long that that was ago, and we were that young, and they were that young. Once you get Definitely. thirty plus, they ain't trying to be on the bullshit that we talk. <laughs> but, it's, but it's a gift and a curse because they need to remember that time when you was fucking with a nigga for that. Now he's doing right. that same shit, but you don't need to be there. You know what I'm saying? So so it's whether he's working overtime right. or actually 
hustling in the street, like, like you got to let a nigga breathe, yo, because you forcing a nigga hand to be on bullshit when he ain't on bullshit. Like, don't get it twisted, niggas be on bullshit. We right. ain't about to act like niggas don't be on bullshit. Right. But what I'm saying is, the 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 goal is to provide. You know what I'm saying? The, the goal, goal is, is to, to, and to take stay care free of me in the process. And, and and take care of my family and and to be on deck. And so, when we was young, it was cool for you to ride with me all day. Fact. It was cool. Yeah. We ain't have no fucking kids. Right. And, and we ain't have really no how listen, keep it all the way a buck. When you was home, when you was young, motherfuckers still stayed with their parents. Motherfuckers right, was right, paying right, bullshit right. a month for rent because they had a bullshit run down apartment or whatever. Right. Now you trying to live it's good. Different. It's it's it's, different. it's it's higher stakes. Yeah. You know so what I'm saying? You need to keep your ass at home now. Facts. You don't need to be worried about what's going on. Facts. You're not fifteen. Don't try to ride in the car with me all day. So, and, and that's what I'm saying because the stakes are higher the stakes are higher but they need to graduate to that level of understanding and that's what I'm telling you that's what women lack I know a lady's gonna be mad but yo you gotta graduate you gotta graduate because the same way alright every dude 30 plus has went through this situation right let's talk to him every, every dude has had their woman like you might get dressed they might wanna they, they tell you about a new restaurant or some shit right, right? I'm listening you're like, let's go here, babe. And you're like, what the fuck is that, right? But it's Friday, it's whatever, it's date night, you want to go. So they're like, you get dressed. Every dude, every dude that's heard this, babe, pull your pants up, right? Mm -hmm. You always heard pull your pants up. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, and you do it, whatever, that's fine. I ain't trying to be 40 years old sagging my pants like a 20-year-old. I'm not trying to do that. But what's the, what's, what's the equivalent to a woman pulling her fucking pants up? Don't call me 30 times. Mm. Okay. Parallels. During the daytime. We're running parallel. That's what I'm saying. That's the parallel. It's like, okay, if you don't want to act, if you don't want me to act younger than I am, mm -hmm. then you don't act younger than you are. Work your nine to five. All right? Yeah. Understand that your money's your... This is the luxury that we provide women. Right. Right? Their money is their money. Right. Our money is our money. That's literally what we provide them. Yeah. Because if you are a provider, you no, pay for you, you certain shit. Their money is their money. Right. My money is it's our, our money. money. Exactly. Right. That's what I'm saying. saying. My, right. The money I make becomes our money because I have certain responsibilities to take care of. But your money is your money. And when you do shit on your own, I just look at it as a bonus. Fact. When you go get your nails done, you go get your hair done on your own, that shit is lit. I look at you like Fact. you're an ill chick. But Fact. I already know when the first comes... I'm paying when it. these See, bills come, you, you know I, I'm, I'm responsible. We, for we them. touched on this on previous episodes. Is is, is and I, I'm I'm what what do they call it? Not a sidebar. Um, asterisk. Let me, get, let me get the purple. Um, one. I think that um, and th th I'm explaining this to the ladies because some of y'all got sorry dudes. Let me let me put the the uh what is it called? Exclaimer. The, whatever. The whatever. Disclaimer. There you go. If you got a dude that ain't about shit. I'm going to keep it a buck. Then fuck it. Be on his line, do whatever. I'm going to keep it all the way 100. If you got a dude that's handling this shit, though, like some dudes, it's first of the month come, he wants, oh, baby, the rent is 1200 Where's your six? I can understand you kind of be on his head. Uh, now, don't get a twist if he's down for six months or a year, whatever. I'm cool. But if this is your constant scenario that y'all are like roommates, then I can see you beefing. Because you might find another motherfucker that can actually right. hold you right. down the way he's supposed to. Right. Listen, motherfuckers, I say it all the time, and I'll probably say it every episode. You're supposed to take care of 80% of the house. You leave that. her the other 20% to make that. her feel like she's doing something. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to handle the mortgage or the rent, let her pay the little light bill, the cable right. if she wants. And let her let her feel like and like she like like she be like oh motherfucker I pay the cap yes you do baby yes, you like do. like you lit got it but if it's a roommate got situation it. yo like she said I could do bad by my goddamn self I can rent a I could get an apartment right. with a bitch right if if that's if I'm gonna be paying half the rent a motherfucker niggas so, ain't gonna like what I'm saying but that's some real shit no, like like shit. you wonder why you in a position you in because. You had to start bossing up, yo. But this and, is and what... And this leads in a whole nother scenario, and I'm ready to go into it. You have to start bossing up 
because you taking on that responsibility of handling the house. Nigga, I live in my house like it ain't nobody there. Right. Because if it wasn't nobody there, I have to pay it. You know what I'm saying? So we ain't about to be playing this game about what you got and shit on that. If you decide to do something, I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you what differentiates real women from just whack chicks, right? right, right. I agree with you. But that 80% that they're left with, what do they do with that 80%? And I'm going to be honest, that's what... That's what differentiates women from okay. other women. Okay. You know, certain women, they'll blow it. Mm-hmm. Other women, they'll invest in themselves. Right. Chill. And that's, and that's just what it is. Yo, I got some shit I want to talk about, man. Let's talk about Because we covered I've that. been waiting for you to that's go in. Right. You've been kind of bullshitting for that. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. We doing this podcast, right? Right. It's been gaining momentum, right? Listener. I know we got listeners, viewers, trying to understand the process. We still trying to understand the process, right? right? So today, when I was riding here, I was just relating it to what we know, you know? Okay. I'm like, yo, we was talking about uh, quality of video we had on previous episodes, this and that. We was talking about the journey. We was talking about the process. We was talking about all that. And then we started talking about... um the greatest things in our artistic culture, meaning our favorite songs, um, basically that, our our favorite songs, right? The illest songs we ever heard, the illest mixtapes, all that. Quality didn't matter, right? Quality quality fell, it wasn't the priority because it was a feeling. And I thought about uh, Nas Project Window without Ronald Isley, right? I thought about... um, you remember that joint? You good. You remember Nas joint without Ron Lisley? Of course. Right, mixtape so, version. Mixtape version. All right. Mm-hmm. Nas Project Window, no Ron Lisley. Then I thought about Big. Yo, I had a Big joint with no DMC for Pray For My Downfall. Of course. I had it. It's on a clue. Okay. It's on a clue. Um, we and don't fuck it. I'm, I'm claiming it. That made me not give a fuck about the quality because... It sounded like it was recorded underwater. People who understand, they understand. And I didn't like it with DMC. I didn't it like it with DMC. The it was off beat. It sounded put together. It sounded like he was trying to make an album. I, you know, and me listening. having heard it previously, mm-hmm. I felt exclusive. Okay. So when it became majority, I ain't like it no more. Okay, so you know what I'm saying. What did, what are so you trying to get to? What I come, I say that to say this. I don't give a fuck about the beginning episode's quality because I know the energy is going to transfer to those who it's supposed to connect to. Other than that, mm-hmm. if you left out, it's your fault. I'm just keeping it real. I'm with you. That's it. And you know, um, also, on the back and forth tip, I started thinking about, you know, because we've been getting a lot of responses. You know, people tell us why they listen, why the shit works. You know, they like how we go back and forth. They don't understand how it sounds so natural. You know, we understand because we've been doing this shit forever. Right. But, um... We be having real live barbershop talk in I the I started studio. thinking about... We be having on the block, on the corner, with a pint of Henny, when we have no money talk. 100%. Let's talk about it. But I started thinking about who's the illest back and forth. Oh, you about to go on our for sure. Yeah, you know, the illest back and forth, you got your Styles and Jada, right? All right. Of course. Are we the Styles and Jada podcast? You wanna, you wanna claim that? I don't, don't want to claim that yet. Fuck I don't want to claim that it. yet. I don't want to claim that yet. because you got so many, right? We might be the Ray and Ghost. Mm. Yo, listen, mm. like, I see, that's the slap kind of some real but, shit. All right, but real quick, real all quick, right. let me just break down the illest back and forth. All right, I call it peekaboo. That's what I call this shit, peekaboo style, because yeah. it's like. Because it's like I see you, you see me, you see me right. right? Let's go. M O P. I'm with you, bro. All right. If you disagree, please. No, I'm, I'm listening. Say. I'm just, I'm just trying to see where All you're right. going. M-O-P. We jump subjects like I'm off. Of course, I don't so care. I'm just, I'm just trying M-O-P, to see where you're Ray and Ghost. Mob Deep's my favorite group of all time, but they didn't, they didn't do that shit. All right. They all really right. didn't do it. 
Styles P, MOP, and Ray and Ghost. I feel like are the best three, are the top three. Okay. There's no top five to me. All right. That's sure. just the top three. That's all I have to say, man. I just want the listeners to know. So when they when they going through the catalog. When they see when us, they, I see what you're saying. Like, well, you That's what we come from. A fact, That's fact, what we fact, come fact. from. We, we, we definitely do that. I just think, um, I don't know. I just come from uh, a place where I just want, um, I'm still on the, the relationship shit. I, for real. Because it ain't even about... No, no, no. Because it ain't even about a relationship. I just be wanting... I be wanting chicks to see how... And and we probably have girls on here or women on here who could tell their side of the story. I just want them to understand motherfuckers be going through a lot in life. Like dudes. When you're a... When you're just a generally a good person and a, and a good dude who want to see them happy. Like I said, you can you can mark out the dudes who don't be holding down their chick. You might can support their dream. You might not have no money, so but that don't mean that you can't support your girl or whatever and whatever she got right. to do. I'm not saying that. Right. But when you're a dude who really like holding it down, like a chick really have to that stress that you put on a dude. It's good to have a chick who really. Babe, with it, whatever you need to do, go out and do it. Right. Be great. As chicks say, let me be great. You know what I'm saying? You got to let your dude be great, yo. Like, 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 you don't know what a motherfucker is, is, is going through out here. You don't know how many shots he done ducked before he came in that house and didn't tell you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 it's real live shit. A motherfucker excludes you from, so you're not worried. for. Because if I do tell you that, you might say, don't go outside tomorrow. Right. But I have to go outside tomorrow. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that that's just been my thing, man. Just just to be really on some um trying to help them understand like like yeah, niggas be on bullshit. And it sucks. I, I, a lot of chicks be like you can't skip over that. Right. But you got to skip over that. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a, I'm gonna explain why most chicks will hate to hear this. And it's like as I say if you got a good a good chick, if she likes a dude, she had to like him. She might have seen him before. Like, damn, if I see him again, like I might give him some pussy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like real shit. You might give him some pussy. But but she 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 might not jump out there off top. But at the end of the day, she a good chick, not a little thought chick. She 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 know from the first day she seen him. Like yeah, I probably gonna give him some. A dude, a lot of time, don't think like that. He might see it in blink of an eye, and he might smash. He might have a girl. He might not ever need to see her again. But the chick be like, "Oh, how could I thought you loved me? How could you have sex with that girl?" A dude say, "I don't even give a fuck about that. I I never seen her. You know what I'm saying? But it, but if you cheat on a dude with a dude, you are gonna be like, the reason why he feels some type of way is because damn, you liked him." You know what I'm saying? You really like that nigga. Because I know what kind of girl your girl is. Like, right, right, you know what right, I'm saying? It, right. it, it, it's a difference. So, right. at the end of the day, you can't. It's hard. I'm sorry, woman. But it's hard to blame a nigga sometimes because he ain't fucking off emotion. You know what I'm no, saying? He just, but, he, but he holding his crib down. Right. You know what I'm saying? And and I know many dudes whose situation so bad at home that they get a side chick because... It shit so bad at home. He just wanted a sanctuary. You know what I'm saying? And and it's it's it might not make it no better for the woman. You know what right, I'm saying? It might not right. make it better for his relationship. But he might have been left if he ain't had that side. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like right. like the shit be the shit be out of control, man. You know what I'm saying? So and what I, do you do? How do um, you fix it? You know the, the, that that's a good question. I think I think I think chicks think if they don't say nothing, he will. If I ain't on him, he just gonna go out there and be out of control. But you don't understand how far that shit can go. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, she really ain't been on my ass in a month. You know what I mean? Let alone a day. A month. Well, you find a way to build with your chick, bro. That's the ultimate. Look at the people who win it, right? They right. find a way to build with their chick instead of it being divisive, like. You look at a motherfucker like Gucci, right? His fucking marriage is on TV. 
You know the illest part of Waka about that? Waka uses his relationship to promote himself. I think like, that shit is dope because Nah, me too. I'm gonna give a dude I'm gonna give um I'm gonna give dude some credit and where where niggas be dropping the ball at is you gotta include your girl. Well, you know what I'm saying? Like like you see them, they girls be at the forefront. Right. So I'm I'm gonna blame some of the dudes, me, whoever, you right. is is your girl gotta kind of be at the forefront, like, yeah. like, like. Have like, some faith at in the end her. of the day. Roll the dice on it. You picked her. Roll the dice. Shit. Roll the you dice. You know she on be it. on bullshit though. But you picked but her. But you just say. But you picked, you picked her. You picked Out her. of a million, a hundred million. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. I'm with it. I'm with it. Um, all right. Let's switch subjects. I want to talk about something we we talked about. All right. We we older. We not old, but we didn't come up in the slim. Pants, slim clothes era, right? Of course. When did you make the transition where you thought it was cool to get your pants a little slimmer, bro? Because when I just got too outdated. When I felt like it's the same shit I was talking about. When I had understanding, bro. I said I just wanted pants that fit me. Like this should be my waist. This is what it is. You know the illest part about it is when it's dudes from home. Now even I say home. I'm fucking, I'll say it. Like, like some people haven't got it. I can't say all dudes, because some people get it. Some people go too skinny, but do you get some dudes who still size 40, 38, man, they shit sagging? It'd be like, bro, when are you going to get some style about yourself? Yo, you, you just wear what pants fit you. Wear what pants fit you. That's the gem. Just I think, buy what, what, what fits you right, man. Whatever your waist is, buy it, because... Will you go rich homie claw slim? No. Because okay. they don't fit me. Okay. That's what okay. I'm saying. Like, in our heyday, right, you bought sizes bigger on purpose. Right. You're grown now. You don't do that. Like, okay. you can go there and you can buy pants that fit you. That's it. You don't have to buy the slim joints. You don't, you know, if it's a straight, it usually work. Okay. You know? If it's a slim and... You didn't say 30, skinny. You didn't say skinny. I've never bought a pair of pants that said skinny. Are you, are you sure? I bought a pair that said slim. Never skinny. I don't think you're telling the truth. I, <laughs> never skinny. Only slim, bro. Or straight. I get a straight joint. Um, I get a straight joint and slim joints. Yeah, but, I don't think I bought no skinny. So, but yeah. at the end of the day, I think um, I like the new style. Yo, You can make it work for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm, I'm okay. I don't know. You just you gotta know. be open to it, man. You just gotta be open to new things. You know that's um, some major key, as they say. You know to transition and and just enter the next phase of your life. You gotta be open to new things. If you ain't open to new things, listen, you're not gonna grow. Listen, I like that we have barbershop talk, block talk. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, other thing I want to get at. I'm sorry, ladies. I'm about to be hard on y'all today. Listen, at the end of the day, right? I think y'all, I'm not hating on the scammers, good, right? What it is Scammers is, fuck the game up, though. Fuck the scammers fuck the game up. But they I ain't knock y'all for getting money. This is my thing. Yeah, I just knock y'all for taking trips too early. <laughs> I just knock you for changing, for spending money on the wrong thing. All right, let, let's get into it, right? So, boom. What happens? Um, We in Atlanta, right? right? For all the people that don't know. When I first moved to Atlanta, it wasn't the whole bottle service culture, right? Definitely not. You could get money, and that's not what you had to do. You could do it if that's what you wanted to do. Right. But I think now what I don't like is the scammers have come into play where they got a section. Don't get a twist. I get sections. You know how I get lit. But, but at the end of the day, I might go to the bar when I go to the club. Right. I might buy a drink. Maybe right. get a hookah. Don't even get, get too lit. Right. But that don't mean I don't got no money. Right. I think the the scammers have come into play where a chick will walk up to you or look at you, not walk up to you. Like he's lame. He has a body, he has a he has one drink. Hundred percent. And and these scammers have two sections, 100%. thirty bottles, but they're sharing a three bedroom apartment with five of them, and they have a Benz outside, six laptops. And I'm not hating. But but what I'm saying is I, don't downplay me, yo. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't I might not even want you. I but but what I'm saying is don't play me like I don't got nothing. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, like because the scammer has made it to just... It's the same, it's the same thing. Because honestly, I come up in an era where motherfuckers went to the club and they had fun. It wasn't about getting a section or whatever. It was, you was lit. You might have had your drink. You might have bought a bottle, but you didn't have to have 30 to be considered official. That, that was our Atlanta era, right? Okay. The real era we came up with was you go to the club to get shot. Facts. All right. So you wear your chain out. Your shit. You, you might lose, lose your head. You 100%. Facts. But I'm with you. Yo. The era of, see, women, you got to be more intuitive than ever. You have to read through certain shit. So it's like, you got to, if you a chick looking for a come up, that's cool. I'm not mm-hmm. knocking a hustle, but you have to learn how to forego the promoter section. You have to learn how to forego the swiper section. You have to di- differentiate between all these motherfuckers who flash your money, right? Okay. With the best outfit. And you got to find the motherfucker who's really about whatever he's about. Okay. Something that has some legs, right? When right. I say legs, I mean something that lasts, something that can run. I'm with you. And that's the understanding that women lack in this day and age because it's all about immediate gratification. So a woman could say, yo, I want to go to college and grad school. I don't want to show my ass on IG. But her roommate posts a pic in, in the thong and gets... 20,000 at night and ends up in the studio with whoever and has Young these thug. amazing stories, right? And then all of a sudden, the good chick is like, damn, I'm still getting cheated on by my whack-ass college boyfriend. Who's on and, the train. Yeah, and then it becomes a drug dealer's dreams at that point for the mm-hmm. ladies because, you know, um, there's young ladies in the strip club right now who don't see nothing wrong with it as a reflection of the culture, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. it you know, honestly... If your ends justifies your means, I really can't knock anything anybody does. Listen, I had to tell my son recently. He just caught on to this because I say it all the time, but he was the first time he heard it. Yeah. Fair exchange is no robbery. Word. Um, if if whatever somebody's charging for something, whatever somebody's doing, and they're happy with the end result, fair exchange is no robbery. Like if 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 somebody has some sneakers some Yeezys and they cost 200 in the store but you sold them for 600 right. the person who paid 600 if he was happy with his purchase that's a fair exchange you didn't rob him you might have thought you got over right. but he was happy he could have paid his 600 for it right. so the same thing with being a, a stripper or a drug dealer or whatever like you trying to get you trying to justify your, your, your ends you trying to justify uh, what you got going on? You sometimes you get lost in the middle of it and stray. But what made you feel better, bro? As far as what? When you started off, when you started, right? When you made that decision, we all faced the crossroads, right? Facts. We all came to the point where we said, you know what? Whatever. We, it, we're just unique because we share this, the same space. You know, I remember, um, of course, this is so long ago, we can't be incriminated, right? Right. I remember telling you in class in high school, actually, you told me. Okay. You was like, yo. Yeah, we go back third grade, so I'm just letting you um, know. Go ahead. Let me fast forward. You was like, yo, I got these. I'm going to just tell the truth, bro. All right, talk to me. You was like, yo, I got like these 20 Knicks. I don't know if you remember this. I don't remember, but okay, we're talking but let, high school. Tell you. The, the statute of limitations is over. Right. It's a small time shit. Anyway. You was so like, yo, go. I got these 20 nicks or whatever. I think you had like 40. All right. You was like, yo, I'm going to give you these 20 nicks. This is like the 10th grade. All right. Maybe 11th. I can't remember. But um, you're like, yo, I'm just going to give them to you for what I got them for. Okay. And then we can meet at the top, meaning like, you know, you're going to flip yours, I'm going to flip mine. We'll right. meet at the top, right? All right. So I remember getting them from you, and uh, I gave them to you. Definitely, all right. Definitely, I don't remember. For what now, I didn't even smoke at the all time, right. like so. Back. I don't even know if it was good. I don't know what the fuck it was. I just know we always talked about making money. So Let's go. we only looked at it like another way to make money. We wasn't above working jobs. We wasn't Facts. above anything. Facts. We just wanted to make money because money was what it. would separate us from everybody else. Let's do it. And so 
it was that point in time that lured us to take risks that we may or may not should take. And in the same retrospect, we speak about women. It's the same thing, bro. They look at us like that bag they could flip. Like it's the same exact mentality. They just women, so they use a different, okay. you know, a different bait. But it's the exact same thing. So how can you tell a young woman, yo, don't go dance. Don't, you know, stash this in your crib. Don't let a scammer use your addy. Don't do this. Don't do that. Like, what the fuck is the payoff for don't? Because there was no payoff for don't when we was young. There was only a payoff for do. So we was willing to do any fucking thing. Facts. You know what I'm saying? We done laughed on this shit when we had the mall job and you were stealing uh, 5411s. Facts. Right? And selling me a locker. So... We did the dumbest shit. We just was was blessed enough to be alive and free to tell about it. Right. But like, I can't really knock the chick who makes a, a hundred horrible decisions in a row because I know her her ends. She thinks it's gonna justify her means, but it's not. So I don't judge. Right, but that's um, what I'm saying. But our job for having this platform and being blessed with this platform is telling people how to not make the wrong decision. So everyone knows how you get fucked up. But, see, but how does a woman not how does a woman not fall for the scam? How does a woman not go for the swiper? How does a woman not go for the dope boy? How do you how do you stick um, with you the nine to five uh you can't you know what it is hard head makes a soft ass. It's a it's a it's a story. You have to bump your head, you have to realize that that when it's pieces ain't hitting, your rent ain't paid. You know what I'm saying? At at the end of the day. Yeah. Um uh, and, and we ain't just putting it on the swipers. It could be when his trap's slow. It could, it could be whatever. Oh, his, you know, his, you know, his package but, but, don't but, drop. But, but like, the thing is, is you can't be with it when the red bottoms is coming or when they not. That's the difference. You 100%. know what I'm saying? Like, like, like you can't say he a sorry ass nigga when the bread ain't coming in when when it was coming in, we was lit. You gotta, you gotta help him figure out a way too. 100%. You know what I mean? And, and, and that, that is, that's the difference. You know what I mean? Like you gotta be an ill chick, man. Like female. Now, if you got a sorry, I, I go back. If you got a sorry motherfucker, if you got a sorry nigga who ain't really been, who he always been down bad since you met him. Like it ain't about bread, but at the end of the day, dollars make sense, yo. You gotta keep these bills paid. I can't take care of both of us. A woman ain't supposed to take care of both of y'all. You have to. A man gotta provide, well, yeah, bro. We like, done. Yeah, we said that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yo, so, um. Word. Check this out, man. Like, like we had a, uh, we got a dude just walked in the studio, man. Mm -hmm. Close friend of mine, close friend of ours. He just crashed. Unannounced, it. he crashed Unannounced. the party. <laughs> we ain't even want him here. He yeah, my came. boy Jig, man. Um, Jig, what's up? What's good, y'all? Y'all all right? Yeah. All right. Now check this shit out, right? Now me and Jig go back, man. Me and Jig go back so far, we was bidding with each other. They didn't know we was bidding with each other, all right? Word. We go back federal prison style. Word. About 13 years. We go back far. So, um, we bumped into each other in the Fed, all right? Now, Jig got an interesting story. Like, we done had a few guests on this show right. that had these crazy, immaculate stories. Like, the illest part about Jig, the reason why I fuck with him, because he's actually a real nigga. Like, 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 I'm not saying that because he's my friend. I'm not saying that. Just, that's how we vibe. Because what you, old saying, real recognize real, yeah, right? Bro. All right. Jig is crazy. Now, we got <laughs> we to gotta start, we gotta start the episode off with Jig. The feds made me crazy. The feds yeah. made him crazy. Yeah. Jig took the feds to trial, which he was crazy. <laughs> the <laughs> second lived, time around. And he lives to talk yeah. about it. Second fed bid, Jig took the feds to trial. Most people don't have the guts. Most people in the feds, and I want Jig to talk about this too, is most people in the feds, actually can beat him. If it was the state charge, you would yeah. actually won. Definitely. Um, Jay caught two fair bids. I caught two fair bids. Um, I definitely thought I'd won. I didn't yeah. have no evidence on yeah. me. It was people who said something, but well, you, you don't know, understand that right. you can get convicted off a of hearsay right. in the feds. Just hearsay with these people, man. I right? Mean, explain it. Explain it. Man. What, are you, what are you talking about for those who don't know? I mean, when it comes down to the feds, man, they play on words. I mean, but basically, if they want you guilty, you're guilty. 
period. What it's do you just, mean by that? Because there's a lot of people that might be facing the situation. Because listen, 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 we've been in the Fed, right? Jay right. can attest to this. But they need real no, advice. Right, listen, they need we've real been advice. in there and they said the Feds can indict a ham sandwich. What does that That's mean? That's what they used Facts. to tell us. What does that mean? It doesn't matter. They what can they, indict whatever. whatever they, they can they indict want. whatever. I mean, they, it's not a real person. They can yeah. indict the ham sandwich. I, but, but by what okay, means? Like, by what means? Like, like, you know, um, they said you did it, you did it. Basically. Who said the they. government. Who's That's they? Khaled said. But they. Say, who's they? The government. They? The biggest gangster out here. You know what I'm saying? I right, so who told on you? Nobody. I mean, they said somebody told on me. I went to trial. Talk to them. They who didn't bring who did they say told on you? Yeah. Who? Um, they said it was a confidential form. Explain the situation. Man. Well, let's talk about it. I mean, I mean, where we going? We going? We, we going to talk we about back to the first trial. We, we, trial. We, we yeah, going to talk okay. about when you go to yeah, trial. When you go to trial. Okay. You know, just to start off. Um. The second time around, um, you know, I was, I came home as a young man, 21, you know what I'm saying? I was doing my thing. I, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, fuck, we got to go back. Go ahead, we'll go on. way back. No, 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 no. First you know of why? all, Jig, where you, you from? Yeah, where you, you from? worth it. You where you from? It, bro. Oh, I'm from go Brooklyn, ahead. Brownsville, right, 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 let's talk about it. So, right. Brooklyn, I want to tell you whole story, but I'm going to just fast forward a little bit. All right, now, boom, you was young in Brooklyn. You went up north when you... See, this is the problem with New York State, too. Uh -huh. You went up north when you were 16, 17? I went up north uh, 15. 15. 15 years old, years he years went old. to state prison. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. They fucked your life up. Off word, the Get the fuck they out of here. Like, New York State be on bullshit. They fucked your life up. You had no chance. Bro. You well, the system... The, I mean, the system... What do you mean? Like, where, where did you go exactly? What do you mean? What, state, what prison yeah, did you yeah, go to? DFY. There's was a few of them. You know, that was... 16, 17 years ago, so I can't really you went up north, tell you that, you but I was north. up north, New York, you know what I'm saying? Okay. All right. I started off in the Bronx on the on, on the broad, Spoffit, you know, a lot of okay. people be familiar with that, All right. okay. you know. Um, I did my thing, I, I turned a, a negative into a positive even back then, you know what I'm Facts. saying? Talk um, to him. Talk I went and got my a drug G dealer's dream. No doubt. I went and got my GED, all okay. that. Okay. You know, I had a few people, people fighting for me because they didn't want to give it to me at first or whatever, right. Right. you know, because of my age or whatever. But they gave it to me, make a long story short. Um, you know, and just to fast forward a little bit, um, I was indicted when I was 19 by the feds with my moms. Um, they came to New York and got me. And they so nineteen facing crazy. a fed yeah. bed. Let's, let's talk facing a fed, yeah. a fed bitch. You know what I'm so how did it go down? What what what, what happened? Uh, yo, the crazy thing is, it was like a whole. Th I still can't tell you what happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you mean? They just came and got me. They okay. came and got me, and like for like two weeks, I was like flying through the air to Utah, Oklahoma, do all these different and you spots. Know, what the fuck yeah, and they never even told me what I was booked for. I was in the field of the law. I remember. It. Yeah, you know what tell I'm saying. Us, tell us and, how you remember. And, 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 what do you remember, bro? Yo, tell I was us. just lost. I was like, yo, the first thing I said was like, yo, they really got a con here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was like, oh shit. Like, Raggedy ass I was plane on, too. Yeah, I'm on a plane with all type of people. People from Colombia, Venezuela, wherever. So tell me you know how they saying? came, when you say they came to get you, what are you talking about? Well, um, well um, I was- Where was you at? I was in New York, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? I had just got released um, from What was your, what was your initial jail. charge? What was your initial charge? Man? My initial charge um, for the feds, you know what I'm saying, was um. Conspiracy to kill, um, com, um, purchase firearms, receipt of firearms. But you're 19. So I'm how 19 you, how are you time. purchasing a firearm? You exactly. living down south? Yeah, exactly. Um, you Savannah. move down south. You ain't, yeah, we so, not gonna go. Let, let, let's let's fast forward. Right. You move down south. Mm -hmm. Well, my family was down there. I was kind of still right. in New York. So, boom, you bought a gun for your moms? Nah, I ain't, I ain't buy anything. My moms went and bought guns legally, legitly. You know what I'm saying? Right. She went in front of. Did the background paperwork or right, whatever. Right, 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 Make a long right. story short, the gun shop, pawn shop she was on was supposed to be under investigation, whatever, whatever. Um, they questioned her, make a long story short, somehow they came and picked me up. Word. You know what I'm saying? So when they picked me up, I'm asking questions. Well, is something in your name? Nah. It wasn't nothing in my name. You got caught with a hammer? No. I had, I, to this day, they haven't found the, the firearms. Um, my People mom, aren't going to understand this. Yeah, yeah. You I gotta mean, give us the real. Shit is yo, over. Yo, I'm gonna keep it. So, so, you know so, what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep it real. Like, you know what I'm saying? They never found the firearms. You know what I'm saying? They just basically, when they went to speak to my moms, and they realized that that was my moms, they started like bringing up other stuff, like, oh, you know, he might be a drug dealer from New York, blah 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 blah. You know, and basically they just was like. 
they kind of like just brought up their own little theory on it. Like, oh, his mom was buying them guns. He's taking That's it to New York. That's how crazy the feds were. Y'all you know might think we on bullshit, but I'm, I got him explaining this. Please to explain. To, to, Please to, explain. To, to, to show, like, like my first fed case, I don't want to go into me, is was conspiracy to traffic firearms, like right. selling guns. I've never got caught with a gun. Mm -hmm. um, they're saying someone bought guns for me to sell, and the person who bought a gun from me is saying that I sold them a gun, but right. you don't catch me doing anything. Yeah, but the it's... feds can put that together and say, we're going right. to believe these two felons yeah. who are trying to get out of trouble and right. make you right. 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 go to federal so prison. Basically, Yo, the, best... the, the, dummy, the dummy version is this, right? If two people tell on you, Oh, that's all they need. Two or more is conspiracy. Two, 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 in the feds, two, two more is conviction. Two that's, period. that's what okay. I'm trying like, to explain like, to the dummies. Just, it's, right? it, they that's sent this man to right. Jessup, Georgia. So who told on you, bro? Well, nobody told nobody on me. Nobody How like, does that happen? Like, with that situation, like, Okay, my mom's is under pressure. They got her for straw purchasing? Is that, is that, is that? Yeah, basically like saying like, yo, she was buying the guns for me, blah, blah, blah. And then so who got caught got with a gun? Press. Nobody. Nobody got caught with a gun. I'm lost. They went oh, yeah, by. I don't know what's happening. Because, because they went by the ATF forms. They went by them going down to the gun shops and saying, okay, who been purchasing firearms? Like so that. So where's the gun that your mom's bought? To this day, I can't tell you. I don't know what's happening. Okay. She don't right. have it. I don't have it. So you, you know what what on, You became a felon on some bullshit. On some bullshit. Well, to right. be honest, when I first took the guilty plea, um, the judge denied my shit. You know, so I'm gonna keep it funky. Because he you. knows he that, was that like, shit Yo, was look, bullshit. I don't think you know what you're taking. It's on. some good judges uh, out exactly. here. Exactly. Let's keep you know it above. Yeah, he is. He he passed though. He's dead now. But okay. You know, he was like, look, I don't think you know at such a young age what you're taking right. on. Blah blah blah. Nah, but but listen, please, man. What age were you going through this? I was 19. Because there's 19 year olds going through this right now who yeah. don't know what to do. Don't know what the fuck. Right? They cut a weak if charge you, and they pleaded yeah, guilty. If, if, I pled yeah, guilty to yeah. my first charge at 19 in Virginia yeah. hustling. And and me and my Cody think we keeping it a buck. Yeah. I'm sorry to keep it on myself. No, no, I don't no, want to no, no. no, Me and my Cody, E, Erskine, right. we, we think we keeping it a buck. We holding down. We ain't snitching. We right. take the feds. I mean, not the feds. Yo. The state radar. Right. So listen, they raid our spot. We hustling. Right. We young as fuck. I'm 18. I take the plea at 19. When I caught my cases later, Ooh. and my and my lawyer asked me, why did y'all both plead to this? One of y'all should have took this charge. Right. And one of y'all should have freed. Right. But we think we keeping it a buck. Yo. Right. Let's, let's both eat this. No, somebody got to say, yo, I'm going to get the shit, the same shit regardless. Let me eat it. Ooh. So you in retrospect. What what should you have done? Well, I mean, like, like one of us. I mean, who got to listen? One, I mean, one of us should have taken it. Not was, both of them. Listen, if we was both willing to take it. We both was willing to take yeah. it. Why right. not one of us take it? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, 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 I'm. Mm. We both willing to eat. But the how same does that shit. even happen, though, bro? Because like because, because the bad, system it, is, it, is listen. It's bad representation. Yeah. It's 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 lack of knowledge because we so young. We teenagers. <coughs> we just think you're hey, keeping it real. Yo, you know then, what I'm then you understand like that whole system is rigged. Like, like break it down. Like I ain't gonna front. I done been in front of the judge and it, and they gave me a court appointed lawyer and this nigga do real estate. He don't mm. know nothing about criminal. Talk right. to him. See what I'm saying? So Talk you already you going. Trick, you, you already going into a losing battle. They already setting you up for failure because. This man, not to say he's an idiot, but he's no just he knows just as much as I know. Right. Facts. Right, right, you see what I'm saying? Right. And I ain't been to law school. So, you know, they take you in that shit losing. Then another thing that I wanna put people on to, like, like G was just saying him his man took a charge back in the day. Like, you young boys out there, y'all catching them cases, whatever, y'all thinking it's all good, y'all balling out, y'all wilding out. Yo, listen, when these people come get you, they stack all that back on you. Damn, you know what I'm saying? That shit is so real. Hold up. You feel me? Listen. See, I hope none of y'all catch a fat case. But Please see, now don't. that my man here, it, it's like I caught so many cases when I was young and kept getting probation. Mm -hmm. But the feds don't look at it like that. Nah. You could catch a felony and catch five years probation or take mm -hmm. or take a year in the state but only do eight mm -hmm. months right. or whatever. But when the feds get you, you took probation three, four times. That's three, four felonies. Yeah, that's how they you, count. You're in category... With the Whatever. feds, with the feds, right. it's a graph. It's yes. like right. when you're in math. Exactly. Right, right. If, if you call, if your criminal history is up here, it goes category one, two, three, four, five, six. Then you're you in four, and your charge goes here. Now, if you're <coughs> in category one, you might only get ten zero, months. Yeah, zero to six months, yeah. zero to right. twelve right. months. But if right. you're in right. category four, you have six, seven, but years, explain, ten years. Explain to them how you get to that. You get right. to that because exactly. they take 
they take your prize that you served for already. Yes. That, that, that another you did judge, your time for another judge, them, but they count you, them against you. And you done served this already, whether it was probation, whether it was community but the, but service. But it's, still, whether a, it's it was still a strike against you. Yeah, but it's more right. time. I served my time. Right. They exactly. give you more time. Right. So, right. you know what I'm right. saying? So, right. you can end up from zero to 12 months, and because they take all these priors, now you're looking at a dime no. piece. Or you listen, looking at seven if years. If the charge carries right. zero to 12 right. months, let me get my zero to 12 months. Yo, listen. Months. Right. You counting the fact that right. I did a bid. Exactly. I did five years for this charge. That's you count They count that against you. It's double jeopardy. You know what I'm saying? And that's the fucked up part. All, all the Fed's enhancements all right, are so outrageous. Listen, so a lot of the reason we doing this, right? We ain't talking about going up north doing a two to right, four. Right, right. But we talking lot. about if you in the Fed and you got 10, you got away. Yeah. We was in there with five years, yeah. seven years, and they say, oh, y'all, y'all niggas are so good. We yo, short. Yeah, you know we saying? short when we I came just, in. I just want to. I met a nigga say, I met a nigga with 20 years that say he never made $1,000 of his own. How that, is that possible? Listen, I met a nigga got eight grams of, eight grams of crack and a pistol and got 20 years. Mm. And he ain't seen $5,000. So, so let, me, let me ask you a question. You know what I'm saying? Question, because right? the crack was equivalent to to to, to 101, to 501. Exactly. Uh, and they, just, yeah. they just dropped the law down. Crack right. and cocaine supposed to be the same because right. it take cocaine and make crack. Right. You know what I'm saying? But we ain't even gonna jump. jump. We, we did that. We already deep. did that. We already yeah. did that. But, but I'm glad you said that because I'm gonna ask a question like I don't know what's going on. All right? right. A lot of people Yo, don't. Even if you call it state that, charges, and, and you want, don't know what's going but on I in the want, feds. I want them yeah. to understand the difference between a state charge and a fed charge. A whole lot of time. <laughs> that, I know. I understand. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> But like, <laughs> yo, they but like, make a DVD about us. Nah, yeah. but, but I want I want them to understand because you was a young man, right, Jake? You was a young man, right? Well, you didn't know the difference when you was yeah. doing whatever the fuck you was doing, right? Yeah. But you got the harsh reality of the difference. Yeah. So yo, I'm gonna tell you how how they play so many trickery games. Like, right, okay, boom, at that charge when I was 19, right? Like. Yeah. I was sitting in the county jail for some bullshit, some miscellaneous shit. I ain't gonna go into it. It's, it was simple. It was some bullshit. It was like some adolescent shit, right? Okay. Okay. Yo, they was gonna let me out, right? right? They was like, right. yo, you know. No, from- I'm sorry. If you're not in the county at 15, 16, 17 for a body or shooting it, like, you killing these adolescents, though. You're making them into like, 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 a savage. What was you in there for? What was you like, in you're there making for? them to a yeah, savage. So, so say it. That's what, what I'm trying what, to say. I'm like, saying, like, I was in there county. for like some, you know what I'm saying, simple. The, the reason, let me tell you the reason I want you to say it. Mm. Because I want you to humanize it. You understand? Because the average 15, 16 year old that's in there for that, they, they know that they're not, yeah. they're not well, subjected a, to criminalization for the rest of their life. Well, just say what you the way the system for. is. You damn yeah. near, you, you damn near are. Nah, but what I'm, you know saying, what I'm saying, I don't want them to have that mentality. Yeah, nah, so, definitely not. So just expose Excuse it, bro. You know what I'm just saying? Be, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there on some, you know, saying some drug charges or whatever. Okay, you know what I mean. But they're gonna give me my first um, offenders act, all that, whatever. Yeah, right. But this is how they play it. Right. I don't Your know. Yo, yeah, my yo. Yo, you okay. so, offender, New York State. Yeah, so I go in front of the judge. He like, look, you know, I've been locked up like 43 days. Blah blah blah. He like, right. yo, we're going to give him his Y-O, boom, boom. Right. The district attorney raised her hand. She says, no. Right. She says, this guy has a federal indictment on him in Georgia. Mm. So this is news You don't news. know that. I don't, don't know, know this. That. So I'm like, federal indictment? I don't know what she's talking about, y'all. Right. Blah, blah, right. blah. So he said, look, you got to bring up some evidence. I'm going to give you five days. Mm. They bring me back to court the very next day, and they tell me, listen, Mr. Harper, the feds are coming to get you. We can't stop it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, you can either let the feds come get you, and whatever happens down there, you cannot be released if you don't deal with this. You can't get no bail. You can't get nothing. I'm 19. Right. I, I I don't know what's going on. You don't on. know what's going he on. He says, listen, I give you time served today of 43 days. I said, okay, cool. Boom. You take, I take you it. in the charge, you, take, but you don't it. know what's going right. to come I don't know. I don't know. Exactly. Now, when I go uh. to the feds, guess what they hit me with? What? They say, oh, well, being that you pleaded guilty to this, you know, and you don't even know you. You was a convicted me. felon, and you caught up with these guns, right. or right. you right. was under right. indictment. Right. They start right. making up all these charges. I mean, when I get there, I got like six mm. federal felonies. You know what I'm saying? And the prosecutor didn't even have the enough decency to tell a judge that. So this in is, retrospect, that this is my mother. Quick, is there any way for the same 19 year old today? Because you know we got a million of them, mm-hmm. right? Is there any way you would handle that different? Me. It's, it's, I'm sorry, not to cut it. It's knowledge, bro. Like, it's just knowledge. You don't like, know you a kid. Yeah, yeah I know Your you a kid, but I'm just bracing. saying, let's... I mean, if I have a chance to talk to him, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, 
me personally, any 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 dude younger than me, man, I try to uplift him. I try to tell him, you know what I'm saying? Look, man, try to get a business, try to do this, try to do that. Because forget not... all that. Once they're in that situation, mm -hmm. is there anything? I know it's the worst possible situation, but even in the worst situation, there's a way, right? Is there any way you could have curved that situation? Is there any way in your judgment you could have done something different? Uh, it's hard to say with these people because when they when they when they want to do something to you, they're gonna do it. Right, you know that's, what it is. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 because, that's the because, point I want you because to Because what Jake like, didn't like, talk about, mm -hmm. me and Jake, everybody been to the Fed, right? You yeah. walk the track. Me and Jake walked to the track okay. so many times. The track is the Rain, actual break track. It down. Snow, break it down. Rain, you know sleet, snow. We that's... we in the coats and scullies walking the track boots Building, you know with, 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 with with joggers on, like right. like with thermals on underneath, like like Facts. like really walking this track without it ain't nothing to do with no bread. We spend the same money on commissary. It don't have nothing to do yeah. with that. Right. We talking about life. Right. We talk. We talking about the streets. Excuse me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that's why it's deep in the rap. That's why me and this man, throughout life, we gonna be good. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, right. like, 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 right. like, it don't got nothing to do with nothing. There ain't no bread. It ain't no nothing. Like, when we have, it don't we matter how nothing. much money we had on the you street. Know what I'm it's what we had in there. And, then, like, and, like, and like, we like, had like, each other, so it was like, facts. you feel right. me? Right. Like, yo, he, yo, this man been there for me for you know at a very very hard time in my life. At the end of my bed, you know. I'm going to keep it real. You know what I'm saying? I've been in a marriage, you know what I'm saying, like 16 years since I've been a teenager. Damn, you know what son. I'm saying? Them people broke Damn. my home up. Damn, hold on. We ain't even going to go there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wait, nah, nah, that's nah, a whole other episode. No doubt. Yeah. No doubt. That's a whole other episode. Nah, but fuck that. We have, go there. Shout but I'm out, going, we have go there. Into, yeah, go I'm going into another time. I'm going, I'm going into the fact that, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day, like this is my bro because at the end of the day, I had nothing. And he was there for me. You see what I'm saying? Word. He was there for me, like he said. No, and now my man up. No, man. Yo, hold on, y'all see these business you know keys? Yeah. The man yeah. ain't been home no time. You see these business keys? You know what I mean? I ain't, yeah. I ain't been yeah. home a full 24 months yet. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to go right. get them. I'm a winner. I would never let them people call me down. You right. feel me? But like, boom. That's, that's what it is. All right, now, now, now. You know, the illest shit about it is, it's like we walked the track all this time, right? We talked about life. Now, the crazy thing about it is, is... The, the the shit is is it's a, it's a mind game, bro. Like like Break like we, down, we jumping man. off off subject, but at the end of the day, but let them understand. Like it's it's a mind understand. game. Like like when you go to prison, bro, it ain't about the time you wait. It is about the time you wait, but they they mind fuck you, bro. Yeah. Like 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 the shit. Your your kid will do your kid the shit your mom's will do the shit your girl will do she wouldn't do if she was in your face the, mm. the, the if you were there right. the problem is they the feds is is crazy because it ain't like mm. the state if you go to the state you're in your state yeah feds send you everywhere the feds will send you I was Oklahoma. never close to home so where you yeah. went where you went I've been all over I'm Oklahoma I've been to Pensacola Florida so you come I've been from, to Kentucky where you come I've been from Brooklyn Brooklyn, right? you come from Brooklyn hold on yeah. hold on let me yeah, 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 yeah. I met this Go ahead. Listen, first of all we were in Jessup Georgia it's so many people right. if you're only there right. for a certain amount of time you don't bump <laughs> you met, yeah. we came we met each other How on our second get? fed bid Okay. In, in Kentucky. In, listen, in Kentucky, Kentucky. Ashland, Kentucky. Facts. Listen how crazy they we seen each other. God damn, I know you're so I'm serving peas. He got me He's serving peas. He's working in the kitchen uh, on the chow hall like I'm a slave. I'm looking at him. I said, okay. yo, I know you. I said, I know you too. Uh, right. Then, yeah, we, right, then, you right, know, right. then we went to the building. Know. Like, oh, okay. You see Where y'all know each other from? From Jesse, Jesse Georgia, Georgia from like we was 12 years prior. Facts. Back when I was 19 in the fair. You know what I'm saying? How old was you? I don't know. I'm thirty. Yeah. I'm yeah. four. Yeah. I don't know. Wow. But like, like, like the feds wow. cloud your fucking mind, bro. Wow. You know wow. what I'm saying? It, wow. it really, really clouds your mind. You know what I'm saying? Like the shit. You know, have, you know the listen, the shit have you think. Listen, let me yeah, let me go say. Ahead, go ahead, go ahead, the go feds ahead. have you think you in Groundhog Day. Bro. Like every day is the, it's same, the same thing. thing. It don't matter if I left twelve years ago and came back. It's the, it's same, the thing. same fucking thing. The same system. And, and, you know what I'm saying? And and that shit is the craziest thing. And it don't change until you get home. Hey, yo, being that we on this topic, though, and it's kind of low off, but it's still the same. I just want to make one thing. I want to shout out Obama, yo. Obama let a lot of good dudes go. You know what I'm saying? I, I hear a lot of people, you know, what Obama did, what Obama did. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, man, this system has been railroading brothers for years. You know what I'm saying? Sending people away for years. 
for for years and years. You know what I'm saying? Obama, he made a way. He changed whatever he could. He could whatever they allowed him. You know what I'm saying? Right. And he he freed a lot of good brothers. You know what I'm saying? To get back home to their families and stuff because that Fed stuff, man, it's ridiculous. Like you know, like I didn't be able. I, I didn't get all the way into my story, but just to the second Fed bid, like. Just, just to give y'all a little insight, like, when I came home at 21 from Jessup, Georgia prison, you know what I'm saying? I started my own business. You know what I'm saying? I had a successful business till what I was 25. I was, I, was, I was doing floors. You know what I'm saying? I was stripping wax and floors, some, something okay. that I picked up. You know what I'm saying? I had to gift the gab where, you know, and I had people sign contracts for And me. you was willing you to work. I was willing to work. I just wasn't willing That's to work for nobody understand. else. I was right. willing to do my own thing. Right. Legitly, I paid taxes and everything. Right. Right. And Yo, these people sent me back to prison for seven years, yo. How'd they send you, know you back saying? to prison? I mean, they just randomly came to my crib one day and was like, yo, we got a CI said you sold marijuana. What is a uh, CI? Uh, 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 a CI is, is a confidential informant. Now, now, hold up. A lot of people, right, a lot of people don't understand. They would say, right? oh, yeah, ain't nobody sent randomly. Exactly. Send nobody there's no, nobody there's no such house. thing as listen, a random. Listen. So how, what, how does it happen? But, I mean, I'm, I'm just going on what they said. Now, after once my discovery and stuff came out, it was no CI. It was no evidence. Yo, they said they went in my garbage can and found less than a gram of marijuana. Wow. How, how, I mean, how do you weigh less than a gram of uh -huh. marijuana? I've been hustling for a long time. Yeah. I never, I don't know how you do that. Yeah. Less than a gram. I don't, I, I, yeah. I, I don't know nothing about that, but they said they found yeah. this in my trash. In your trash. You know what I'm saying? Why are you in my trash? I pay taxes. I'm throwing my trash out. Why are you in my trash? So you live you in a saying? decent life. I believe it. You know, I'm going to tell you what it was. It was that I was 21. I was 19 when they knocked me down, and I came home 21, and I started a business. Right. You know what I'm saying? My PO gave me hell about that business. My PO told me to go get a job at McDonald's. Right. I told him I'm not doing that. Right. That's not going to feed and support my children. Happened you know what I'm saying? Happened to me. And, 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 and basically, you know, they did that, and they just raided my crib. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to lie to you. I'm, I'm, I'm not no angel. I ain't the devil either, though. Right. But right. They, don't, they don't got no confidential informant. They don't got no confidential informant. They got, they got blunt rappers in my trash can. and less than, I smoke marijuana. Yo, I went to prison so, so, for right, seven right. years. I'm gonna play devil's advocate real quick. What's your crib look like? What 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 causes them? You know, cause you know they got nah, three hundred living. It ain't even right. Crazy. You know they got you know they got three hundred clients. Everybody on parole. Everybody on probation. Whatever the fuck, right? Yo, I made it off why, probation. Why would they target you? Yo, I made it off probation. Well, so finish. why would they target because you? Because I was I was because I was standing strong. Mm -hmm. I wasn't failing. Mm -hmm. And they don't like that. They don't like. That's what I'm saying. That's what I want you to explain. That's a good you see what I'm saying? That's a good yes. ending. That's what I want you to explain. I was standing see. strong, brother. We need a part two. I wasn't you. losing. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? The, 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 at, at 21, you you sent me to prison. I didn't I, I didn't let it fuck me up. You know what I'm saying? Right. I came home so and I did what I did. if you was fucked up, right? If you was fucked up in a certain neighborhood, paying whatever for rent, they wouldn't have fucked with you. I'm not going to say they wouldn't have fucked with me because... It ain't even about really how we living, brother. It's our color. Mm -hmm. It's our neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, we, speak, neighborhood? we see Where it every day. Nah, we see it every day on the news. Cause if, nah, you know what I'm saying? If, but if you say something here, bro, the only reason you're on here is because I know you're intelligent enough to back up what you say. No doubt. So what the fuck are you talking yo, about? Yo, I didn't put it this way. Yo, I didn't even have a chance, yo. Mm. Say it. You know what I'm say saying? It. When I went to trial, say it. I 12 jurors, I mean, at least nine was... You know, Caucasian, and I'm not racist, but these mm -hmm. people don't understand me because they don't live the life I but, live. So but, you can't get up there and give them a story of me and expect them to side with me. But listen, because they don't understand me. Listen, not from listen, 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 please, exactly, man. please, please, bro, because you don't know how important this is, or maybe you do, and there's a reason why you're here, right? In 2017, for some reason, like racial shit is on an all-time high, right? With the Kaepernick shit, with all this wild shit going on. Shit that's beyond the world we live in or whatever. But it stems from the world we live in. That's what people don't understand. Yeah. They can't yeah. find a solution because they, they're they scared to trace the solution. Yeah, The solution is in the roots of it. Yeah, You lived it. No doubt. So what do you mean, man? Like, what do you mean when you say it's people that don't understand you? What the fuck does that mean? Because we come from, we come from two different worlds. Um, What's your world, you know, bro? Like our world. Tell them your world. Our, our world, we have to fight, we struggle with everything we do. You know what I'm saying? No matter what it is. You know, like, if, you know, 
Right now, if I say, yo, yo, G, I got a great idea, blah, 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 let's go to the bank and see if we can get this loan, let's put this business plan together. We're going to have so many red flags. Right. Compared to, you know, the Caucasian or the Indian or whoever. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like we're the last of the totem pole. Like, it's like we not to be trusted or something. When, when in all reality, America really is making all the money off our culture. Explain. You give know me what I'm saying? Off, off our give clothes, off our music, off give me our everything. Exa- nah, give you me one example. Give me a, a tangible example where I could look and be like, yes, this is an example of that. Nah. I know a hundred. I just want you to say it. Of what? Of of, 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 the, of of America making money off of that. Because Well, for us. And yo, the reason why I say that is is the reason why we started this podcast. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm feeling you so much right now, right? No doubt, no doubt. Because I watched fucking Narcos. Yeah. I watched... Um, uh, American Made. I watched uh, uh, Breaking Bad. I watched all this shit, and I'm like, damn, everybody uh-huh. making money off dope ain't the motherfuckers that sold dope. Fact, yeah, fact. You it's know a, what I'm saying? It's like a big, and it's fake. It's, it's fake. like a big but business, listen, listen, bro. bro. You can't watch Sesame Street without rap coming on. Like, 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 like. You can't watch real. a McDonald's commercial. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. Facts. So all, all I'm saying is, man, people pay people paid right an extremely high price for that. And you know, the reason we brought you on here, in conclusion, right? The reason we brought you on here is because, yo, we would be fake if we didn't give the voiceless a voice. No doubt. You know? No doubt. You not uh, a fucking um, record exec right now, right? No doubt. You not, uh, you don't own um, 20 McDonald's, right? But you made it out of the horrible situation and you made a positive out of it. Exactly. So you're a voice that needs to be heard. Because exactly. if more of those voices could be understood and heard, then we'll be in a better place today. Yeah. You know, real shit. And well, I mean, the best advice that I have for everybody out there is listening is yeah. hey, yo, man, take care of your seeds, man. Take care of them take care of our young men that's growing up, our babies, because they are our future, yo. You know what I'm saying? And if we don't protect them and give them everything that we done went through and show them, it's just going to keep repeating and repeating. And in fact, it's going to get worse. You see what I'm saying? Why is it going to get worse? Because they, because they don't know no better. It, they don't know no better. And this is their plan. This is, this, is, this is America. This is the government's plan to break us down. You know what I'm saying? I mean, at the end of the day, um, I... You know, me and G was talking about this earlier about the Meek Mill thing. I'm a little over the Meek Mill thing. Nah, go but, ahead, go ahead, but, go ahead. But go ahead. look at it. Right. Like, dude just got two to four years, like, with his They punk. don't want to see you win, They don't want to see you win. And that's what I was talking about, how they came at me. Hey, yo, listen, when they came at me, yo, I promise you, this is uh-huh. exactly what I was doing. I remember the night. Uh-huh. At the time, I had... Wipe I, your I, face. Wipe your forehead, bro. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the privilege. You know, Jesse good, Jackson bro. shit. The privilege Jesse Jackson shit, bro. So listen. We're going to make it light in here. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it all the way funky with you. Keep hope alive. I'm going to keep it all the way visual all that night. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I, my daughter was six years old. I was in the kitchen with my daughter at the time. She was uh-huh. six. And I was making her a ham sandwich. Uh-huh. Well, that doesn't sound criminal. That doesn't sound like a thug off the nah, block. Nah, you sound like, like a dad. You know what I'm saying? Bro. I was married you sound like a dad. and all that. I'm 24 yeah, years like old. Um, I'm making her a sandwich. So, you know, a knock come at the door. So when it come, my wife answer the door, you know, like a regular citizen's going to answer their door. Right. And they said, oh, well, we got a guy breaking in your your vehicles. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's your husband. Lying. They lying. They lying. They lying. And, you know, we step outside, they got a guy all staged in handcuffs and everything. Right. And then they just came and just, you know, they they basically did a home invasion on me. They never showed me a warrant. They never showed me anything. And they did all this off of finding a gram in my garbage can. Wow. You know what I'm saying? But what First it was... Why ain't nobody throwing away the gram. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to smoke yeah, it. Yeah, but, exactly. But I'm going to keep it funky with you. Yeah. The whole thing was they try to keep you in that box. They try to keep you in that category. Well, Jose, yeah. I, why they call it a project a project? Because it's a project. Exactly. Like, you know what I'm saying? They want to keep you there. So all, they, all these guys is thinking about is five, six years prior... He was a 19-year-old that we sent to prison. 19, though. So now, here I am, 24. They can't fathom and understand that I'm married, two children, and I got three, four cars in the driveway. I got to be doing something wrong. Right. You know? It was times that I was in businesses, got the alarm codes, keys, doing their flaws, and they Hold come on. flashing we, spotlight on We're going to close this out, right? Right, But right, but, right, but this is right, the right, thing. Right. He, got a, he got a felony because he's in the feds. Right. 
the reason he said he came to the house is said he had a gram. We're going to fast forward. They find a pistol. In, in my his, wife's truck. In his wife's truck. But mm. they put it on him because he's a felon. Mm. So so that's why he went to the feds the second time. But and then, I, and then they on, stacked but, it. But I have a right to... I really have a right to bear arms. I gotta, I gotta protect my family, my wife, and my two kids. Right, this, right, this gun is in right, my wife's name, right. but it's in a car that's in my name. And they, so they charge wow. me, Charging. even though it's in my wife. My wife Damn. can drive my car. It's crazy. So, but that's you know the feds said. That's why he took it to wow. trial. We gonna fast forward because yeah. we gotta go. No doubt. We gonna fast forward because he goes to trial because that's not my gun. It's not my gun. It's, it's my wife's gun. She has it. In my, when she rides, she need to feel yeah. safe. It was she even, has right. the right it, to bear arms. It was even brought up. At court, at during my trial, can they ever violate her right or take away her right of to carry her firearm in the state of Georgia because her husband is a felon? She, she was they, in she Georgia. Can't, they can't take her right away. Right. <coughs> you know so what I'm saying? So you, can't... so you telling me you did your second Fed bid? Yeah. Because your wife had a gun in the car. Fact. Yeah. Wow. Seven well, no, years. Put it this way: We're not even going to say because right. my wife had a gun in the car. We're going to say because they wanted me to do seven years. We gonna say that. We gonna say that because and they used your wife having a gun in the car to to yeah. be that. Because they, they, they find a gram in his car, they they search his house, they didn't find nothing, but went in the car that had his name on it and found a gun Damn. and said and it still was and still end up hitting me with a nine twenty four C. And for you guys out there, don't know what nine twenty four C is. That's a s consecutive five years on any time you get. Mm -hmm. I don't care possession. if you get. I don't care if you get. 20 years, 30 years. If you get that 924C, you get that extra 60 months on top of it. Consecutive. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Consecutive to it. You know Not what I'm saying? Not concurrent. <laughs> Not concurrent. It's a difference. Concurrent is that. running with it. Yeah, exactly. Consecutive is they gave up. me that saying that I had to fire on to protect the drug business. Mind you, Damn. they never proved the drug business. One but, gram. But one gram. One gram that they found in my trash can. But I got How did business you find owners. that in your trash can? I don't know. I got babies. We, we got parents. We got rice. Can. We got all type of stuff. Huh? But it lets you know that whatever they want to do, they do. They do. You right. see what I'm saying? All that stuff right. about, you know, being innocent to proving guilty, that's a lie. That's a lie. Don't right. ever stand on that. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's a lie. It's guilty into proving innocent. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what they do? They lock you up first. Right? right. Then you go to court and you have to prove that you're innocent. And they don't mm. give you no bail. They don't give you no bail. Feds don't give you no bail. You know what I'm saying? Most some people get bail. Some people get some bail. Pe some people get lucky. Some people get bail. But but they make it damn sure 80, hard. 89% you ain't not getting no bail. You know what I'm right, saying? So in conclusion, right? In conclusion. Bro. Let's close this up. Right. Yo. You got anything to say, man? Because you obviously voiced your opinion. People Yo, understand Yo, what you went You know you what? It's hard to put all this episode into one. Nah, it is. It man is. It is. It listen, is. bro. It is. It is. Listen, I even bro. Yo, we should have been action. recording two, three years ago on the track. <laughs> you got some real funky <laughs> yeah. word. You know hey, what I'm saying? Man, it's yeah. better walk the track. I'm talking about in the daytime word. before lunch. Uh -huh. And then say, meet me after child, four or five o'clock. Oh, and we Facts. walk the rest of the whole day. Therapy, days, baby. Five weeks a day. It's like having a psychiatrist. We bounce it back and forth. You know what I'm saying? It ain't about glorifying no story or nothing like like, not. like this shit is we was like psychiatrists it's a facts you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like real shit you know what I'm saying yo I leave off with the advice like I said before yeah, man the people out there man your children take mm -hmm. care of your children invest in your children you know what I'm saying because they after them school them so you gotta school them because they after them you know what I mean they after to take their life Word. you know what I'm saying I promise Word. you Word. you know what I mean school like, them to do what though Yo, you Do gotta what? teach. You have to teach them business. You have to teach them. You, you have to teach them respect for themselves and others. You know what I'm oh. saying? You have to teach them the game, like whatever, whatever it takes to make it. You know what I'm saying? You got to kids? make it through this. I have four kids. Listen, mm. you know what I'm and saying? That's what you teach them. I teach them every day. Listen, tell them. I don't tell hide them. anything tell from them. my kids. I treat my kids. I treat my kids like if, if they my peer. You know what I'm saying? Word. Because. Because our Life dialogue, is real. listen, our dialogue with children has to change. Because it's not working. Let, let, let me tell you what I did. Like, we're we going to close Go off for real. I keep telling the camera and we're going to close off. I know, off. I know, I know, off. I know. Listen, like I, me and Jig was talking the other day. Me and you was talking. Like, like I'm about to, I was about to sell this house that we uh. was in, right? Because we about to buy another house, right? Right, right, right. I'm not going to sell my house. I'm going to rent it out and do like the white people do. I'm going to leave my kids with something. So right. let somebody else pay for this house. So when right. my kids decide they want this house, they can take they can it. Have it. Because, 
Right. Because that that's what I could sell it and make something, but, but then I just got this one house I own. Let right. me own multiple houses. Right. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. So that build that empire. You, know man. you gotta build you the empire, saying? man. Build that empire, man. Because for some reason, I guess this world, that's what they respect. They respect money. I I, I mean, it's way more than things than money. But what do you respect? You know. Bro? Yo, I respect loyalty, bro. Facts. I respect loyalty on any shape or form, any color. Whatever, I got white friends, I got Haitian friends, right, I got right. Asian friends, I got black friends. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, black people might relate to me more than other people, but I respect loyalty. Yo, if you loyal you to me, that? you get everything Yo, from real me. real shit. I know we press against the clock, but some shit is important, bro. Some shit is important. The things you saying, they more important than you know. No doubt. Right? So when you say you respect loyalty, what does that mean, man? Yo, loyalty to me is like, yo, <coughs> yo, just be like, Genuinely honest, like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the case may be, like, I always was brought up on man time mm -hmm. from my uncles and them growing up in Brownsville. I was always brought up on man time. So it's like, yo, listen, if it's something going on, or if you feel some type of way, like, we can sit down, we can talk about this if we really, you know what I'm saying? Communication. Yeah, communication is everything. Like, and you yo, that's I mean? what I'm saying. It's hard, yo, it's hard, especially, I can't stress this enough, yo. Communicate, man, before you, you assume. To. Communicate. You have communicate. to. You have to. Yo, you know wrap, what I'm it, wrap it up, Jake. Say what you got to say. Yo, man, ready to I'm go. here. I pulled yeah, up yeah, on my boys. Yeah, yeah. I love what they doing. Word. You know what I'm saying? Y'all already know. I'm going to tell you, you ain't going to get nothing but real, authentic love here. You know, we here, man. We here, man. Come down and see us, whoever. Drug Who, dreams, whoever want to come see us, come sit at the table, drink this privilege with us. Let's, That's fact. Yo, let's get it I on. You know what I'm saying? Get too. with us so you we know, be gone. We be in the air, man. Yo, Stop playing. I got to say something, too. You know, we the voice of the people who had no voice. Yo, Jake, you don't need a goddamn mixtape out. You don't need a book to come out. You don't need a hit love and hip hop role. You <laughs> bro, you here. So you more important than they'll ever be. No doubt. Gee, I know you can second me. This is what it is. This is what it is. It's yeah, not bro. about who's important virally you know part about or who's it. important uh, trend trendingly. This is what it is, man. You know what it is. It, it, it's, it's Close this, it out, um, man. Close it out. You know man. what it is it, about this platform. It's just happy we about to get paid. Hundred percent. But, but 100%. we was doing this shit for free, bro. Been doing this shit. Like, 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 That's like. I we, told you. Like, ass. like everybody talk about for the culture. Like, we really do this shit for the culture. We do this right. shit for the voiceless, bro. Right. Like, bro. like, like, like. I'm glad to have this man on on the show because 100%. this man like my brother. Hundred percent. I'm closer to him than my brother. Keep it a fact. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And, and the fact that. That we've been through some bullshit, bro. Like, like we eat yeah, this shit, yeah. we take this shit with a grain of salt because we got to, we got to be men. Mm -hmm. But every day we should have been crying in there to keep mm -hmm. it a buck. Like, say? like, like, like that shit was fucked up, dog. Yeah, I already like, know. Like, like the show was in there. But, but, like, yo, you sent a motherfucker to Ashland, Kentucky. I don't know no motherfucker in Ashland, Kentucky. Tell I never tell been him. that far down south. I'm saying, tell him. Like, like the redneck cops telling you when Cause, to eat. Because when I met him in the world, right? You? When I met Jake in the world, I told you the first thing I told you. He saw. He, he, I feel like he's from around the way. Yeah. And yeah, I already right. had that feeling. Right. He Mom only that Jake don't even know that. Blonde I told him that. Yo, I feel like he's from the town. Like, like <laughs> yeah, he want us. I told him that. Yeah. That's, like, why, like, that's why I because, said, yo, because, bring him on the bro, show. And that, that's I feel how like I fuck with him. Around the way. Listen, we, listen yeah. it ain't got nothing to do with where you from, bro. Real, really recognize. We, yeah. Look, yes. we gonna blur his name out. Yeah. Yeah, 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 listen, yeah. bro. Motherfuckers is from <laughs> inside the city and all that being clown ass they niggas. Ready. Fine. You know what I'm ready. saying? Like that shit means nothing. Real right. really do recognize real, right. bro. Like right. that right. shit don't mean nothing, bro. Like like we gonna end this shit off. Drug dealers dream. Yo, Yo the illest podcast in the motherfucking building, bro. Get with it. Yeah. Get rolled you with us and get rolled over. Like we Facts. been playing. Get with yo. it, man. You know what I'm saying? Stop listening to all that fake shit that out there, man. Yeah. Only motherfuckers drink privilege, yo. The rest of that shit is St. Odds. Like, Facts, regular man. Henny is St. Odds. Facts. Don't drink that shit, bro. Like, yo. for real. Only drink that shit when there ain't nothing left. Like, we not drinking, uh, what, what's the other shit? Who knows? I don't Who knows? know. Who Fuck knows? that shit. We lit. Yeah. Privilege or nothing, man. XO and better, man. Like, that's yo. what we do. Paradise or better, man. You know what I'm saying? When I go to LA Friday, no matter what <laughs> month y'all say this is, when I go to, we drinking 
XO in the club, Paradis in the club, man. Thirty five hundred. Yo, Coke. As soon as G done, you cut us, Let's bro. Go. G, keep going, <laughs> keep going, keep going. Yo, G lit, nah, we lit, man. Yeah. Lit it as Cause we get nah, money, Cope, yo. Fuck that. Keep we get wrong. money and we doing all, this shit for free. Day. And Coke, understand that's what, that's this. That's what you understand. You be doing this shit for free. Man. Understand this, man. Going twenty thousand in L. A. When I go Under, there, man. Yeah, exactly. No and checks. Under, and understand this. Facts. Man. No, no bullshit. Mm. Facts. Mm. Facts. We ran the X. Coke. Keep it we running. We ran the I eight when we out there, man. Keep it running. <laughs> understand <laughs> this. We ain't made a dollar. Yo, we ain't made a dollar. Night, nah, 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 nah. I pulled up. I pulled this up the, the perfect shit. night. On, nah, 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 nah. This the real shit. We've been doing this a year. We never made a dollar. We, we only make spent a money. We only we spent, spent money. We only spent yo, money. Yo, understand this, man. We only do this because it's necessary. It's that necessary. is the only fucking reason. The whole clothing line, necessary. we ain't made only a quarter. Reason. We in the fucking red. We don't give yo. a fuck. Yo. <laughs> yo. It's red so much cups, shit I got to man. say. It's so many, and say, it's so many things I have to say I can't say, but listen. Yo, clip yo, that shit, bro. No, 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 no. Let me say this last thing. Let me say this last thing. Real shit. All right? Everybody says it's for the culture, right? But we the only platform in the world that's courageous enough to define the culture. Mm-hmm. We have the culture on the episodes. We define culture by listening. Get that fucking dog out of here. Who cares? Yo. You have to be man or woman enough to understand the culture when you listen to our epi- uh, to when you listen to our episode. Other than that, you don't understand. It's okay. It's but okay. we here. We here to make back. you understand. No, nah, nah. We here to break it down Jake, for you. On some real shit. You know what I'm saying? It's enough of us that we gonna be okay. We always gonna be okay. We don't need we nothing. We always gonna be yo, okay. Yo, yo, yo nah, you're I got my some man? shit to say. You're Come, my man. Hold on. Oh, 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 oh. Yo, no, 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 okay, I gotta say go something. Ahead, no, no, go listen. Go ahead, go me ahead. and my man B. You know who B is. B yeah. is the wildest thing I've ever met. That's why I. Listen, we in Atlantic Station in Atlanta. Go ahead. Go ahead. Some kids come up to us. B got the. We got the S63. I got yeah. the Panamera. This is before I got the new shit. I ain't gonna talk about it. There it is. <laughs> we got the Panamera, right? Yep. Two kids walk up to it. They go to Morehouse. It's like four kids, not two kids. They say, man, I don't know what the fuck y'all do. But we got the cars running. We just standing outside yeah. just talking. I don't know what the fuck y'all do, but yo, I don't know how we gonna, I don't know how we gonna get by with Trump in office. Me and B tell me, yo, listen. A president don't decide how you live, bro. Nah. I tell my kids, bro, I don't care if it's George Bush, I don't care if it's Obama, I don't care if it's Trump. That ain't gonna decide how I rock. Listen, Kay. I got the most bread I ever had when Bush was in office. I'm gonna keep it a buck. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> because what I'm saying is, I don't pay attention, I'm gonna live. That shit is above my pay grade, bro. I'm gonna yeah, keep it a buck. Like, 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 I'm gonna live how I'm gonna live. Don't let all that extra shit cloud your judgment, bro. Live how you gonna live. Open your business. Do what the fuck you gotta do to live your life, bro. Bottom like, line, like, stop being submissive, man. Fact. Yo, the sky's the limit, yo. Word. The sky's the limit, I promise you. You know what I'm saying? Politics That's a good way to close it, bro. Fact. Period. That's a good way you to do close what you it. do. Sky's the limit. Co- close that the drug shit. Drug to the stream. Drug to the stream. That's Facts. it. We here. That's it. Let's go.